Hey guys, it's Michael here from FlySight. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through the new firmware update process for the Mac. First thing you want to do is you want to go to the wiki page. There's the URL. And then you want to click the download link at the top here to download the latest firmware package. If you go to your downloads folder, and then open that folder, you'll see all the files you just downloaded. Next thing you want to do is you want to put your FlySight into update mode. Uh, so FlySight should be unplugged from your computer and it should be turned off. And then you're going to cycle the power three times. Now we're going to connect the FlySight to the computer. And the light should not come on on the FlySight and the fly site should not show up as a drive on the desktop. Uh, if the light does come on, it probably means that the fly site is not in update mode, so you'll need to go back and try cycling the power again and plugging the fly site in again. You can see there are two update scripts included with the package here. One is update 646, the other one is update 1287. Uh, update 1287 is used for older fly sites. Uh, serial numbers between 98 and 497, uh, manufactured back in 2010, 2011. So for most people, we'll use update 646. Uh, if you're not sure, it doesn't hurt to try update 646, and if it doesn't work, you can always try the other one. So you right click on the update, and then click open. And it'll tell you it's from an unidentified developer, that's me. So I'll just click the open button, and the terminal window pops up here. And if all goes well, uh, it'll say it validated and it'll tell you how many bytes were used and we're good to go. So at this point, the firmware on the fly site has been updated. Uh, we just need to copy a couple of new files onto the fly site. Uh, so I'm gonna close the terminal window by clicking Command Q. And then I'm gonna unplug the fly site and I'm gonna plug it back in. This time the light comes on and in just a moment the fly site should show up as a drive on the desktop. We'll open that drive Now, if you've got an old configuration file and you want to keep it, uh, you'll want to copy or rename it before the next step. So I click on the config.txt, click on it a second time, and I'll rename this to config old. Next, we'll go back to the extracted folder in our downloads. We'll copy the audio folder and the config.txt, and I'm just going to drag those over to my fly site. And then we can tidy things up. That's it. Uh, if you renamed your old configuration file, you might want to copy some of your configurations from there or you can just open up the new config.txt file and explore uh, some of the new options that are available. Thanks for watching.